Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It is officially December, so I wanted to wear a reddish lipstick and I have my new Bath & Body Works candle. This is not the typical scent that I go for, like super sweet stuff, but it's the hot cocoa and cream one. Um, it smells exactly like hot cocoa. I might be over in like an hour, but I don't know, I wanna try something different. And also something different is today's video. Um, this video is a little bit of an experiment uh, you probably see by the title already. I'm gonna do an empties video. Now, if you've watched, you know, YouTube for a long time, you might know what these um, types of videos are. And I just wanna see like, how you guys feel about it to see if I should keep doing them. So an empties video is basically, I save up all my garbage. And I've had like a little box over there and everything that I've been running out of, I've been saving it. This is the stuff that I've actually remembered to save and that hasn't ended up in the garbage. Obviously, I've probably gone through more things, but um, I want to get better about doing it if you guys like this kind of video. So, at the end of this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment on how you feel about this video. Also, I want to try and post more during December. Let me know um, what would be helpful for you guys, you know, beauty-wise that you want to see for this month. And yeah, let's get started. So, uh, I will say there's a lot of Kylie's skin in this video because I feel like her brand is kind of new and I'm really into skincare so I bought a lot. So the first thing that I want to talk about is the body. Also, if you see any dust on this, like I said, I've been saving my garbage for months over there, okay? I tried to wipe it off, did the best I could. This is the coconut body lotion. There's a little bit left in it, but the pump like broke, so I gave up on it. I bought the scrub the lotion and the sunscreen oil. The scrub I ran out of and I threw it away because I forgot to put it in here, but I will talk about it after this. And the sunscreen oil, I still use it and I love that. I love it a lot. It works well, feels good, doesn't break me out, standard. I would buy it again, you know, we'll just see, but like pretty average. The lotion, I feel the same way. I didn't buy this again. I probably wouldn't buy it again unless it was like on sale in a bundle or something. Um, I'm really big on lotion. I hate having dry skin. Hate, 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 hate it. If I get into bed and my feet or any part of my body kind of like rubs and catches the um, sheets, really grosses me out. So yeah, this lotion smells great, but it's not thick enough for me. I had to use a lot of it and I feel like I went through it really quick and the same thing went for the scrub. The scrub, I felt like I had to use so much of it in the shower because it didn't like suds up enough for me. And I think they're just overpriced. I think all three products was like 70 or 80 bucks and like, I don't know, I just feel like they're really average for the price. Like, the only thing I loved about it was the smell. Everything else was like, meh. So no, I would not buy this again. While we're on the topic of Kylie's skin, I love her moisturizer. I still use it. I've got two empties right here. I'm about to run out of another one. I got one in the mail, and I've definitely gone through more than two. If you have oily skin and you don't want something that's going to clog up your pores or be too heavy, or you want something that you can use like during the day under your makeup, I use this every night and every morning, and I do love it. Do go through it kind of quick, and the pump is terrible. It's terrible. I'm just gonna say it. I have to pump it like 18 times to get anything to come out, but I will pump it 18 times twice a day because that's how much I like it. And my whole life I have struggled with clogged pores, especially around my mouth. I get tiny little bumps and they sometimes will like reappear if I try something new. And this is the only thing that has consistently kept them at bay for me. So highly recommend the Kylie Face Moisturizer. You can get it at Ulta or her Kylie Skin website. Next um, Kylie Skin item, I will put like the um, duration when we're done talking about Kylie Skin in case you hate hearing about it. I'm just trying to do it in like little categories. Um, I tried the eye cream. This is real busted, but um, this was average for me. I didn't see a huge difference, but it laid well under my makeup. My eyelids felt smooth, but I didn't feel, I mean my under eyes, but I didn't feel like it made a big enough difference for me to buy it again. Eye creams, I've yet to find like a holy grail that I always use. I kind of just try one that I get in my BoxyCharm as of right now, um, since I ran out of this one. The next and last Kylie Skin product that I have an empty of is the Vitamin C Serum. This was the first time I had ever incorporated a Vitamin C Serum into my routine and I loved the results. Like I said about those bumps that I get, I also had a little bit of um, like scarring, like acne scarring and discoloration just in general like red patches i have like weird veins you probably see this one i don't know if it's like visible or not just like a little bit of darkness i don't know vitamin c is really good at brightening your skin and helping like with the overall texture of it and i definitely saw a difference my older sister actually pointed it out to me because she was using it too and i loved it but when i went onto the website um ulta 
Excuse Axel, he's rolling around. Calm down, please. I went on also a website and I was like, let me read the reviews because for some reason I like to see how other people feel about stuff. So when I, because I was gonna get another one. So I was reading about it and it only had like three stars or something like that. But then I saw the Bliss um, vitamin C collagen whatever. That's the one I use now instead. That one had higher reviews by a lot and it was cheaper. So I was like, duh. So I got that one and that one is even bigger difference. So if you like love Kylie skin and you like to use the same stuff, like matching brand wise, I would get this one. But if you're open to trying like, you know, other brands, I would try the Bliss Vitamin C Serum. I will link it down below. I love that stuff. But yeah, I went through this. I was happy with it. Um, It's just not the best that I've tried so far. All right, now that we're out of Kylie skin, we'll go into a different skin product. This is my Kiehl's Ultra Facer <laughs> Kiehl's Ultra Facial Moisturizer. I got this uh, a long time ago. I don't know. Um, it was by recommendation of Kathleen Lights. She has really dry skin. I trusted her. This one also came with a lot of product. 4.2 ounces. And I don't know if the sticker is so... 4.2 ounces. And I want to say it was like $21, $22, $23, right? And this one, the Kylie one, is... 1.75 and I think this is 23 25 something like that. I'll put the prices on the screen I just I use my phone to film so I can't look it up like right now But um, this one's less and cost the same. This one's like double the amount of product It took me forever to go through this and I loved it at first But then like I ran out I threw this in the empties bin and I kept using the Kylie skin um, Like more often than I use this one because this one was kind of like incorporated like nighttime and I use that in the morning well, then I went to using that night and morning then i tried this again and it was doing that clogged pores thing to me and i was like hmm i wonder maybe my skin got used to the lighter weight moisturizer i don't know but i think if you have dry skin you should try this 100 percent for the value of it and for the value of it i think it's totally worth it you get so much product and i think i got mine at uh, dillard's or macy's or something like that but the brand is keels um, you can find it online i'm gonna link everything down below this i do recommend if you have dry skin um also i feel like i would like using this on my makeup clients because it's like pretty universal you know what i mean it's not heavily fragranced it's inexpensive um uh, not inexpensive but you know on the lower end for how much you get and it says it's for all skin types so i mean i don't know if my skin's being weird like i'm still gonna keep using it because i did buy a new bottle i have another bottle in my room and uh, i will give further thoughts on if i still love it or if my skin decided to change its mind either way i still think it's worth trying if you can get your hands on it. Next, I have three benefit. Hold on a second, I'm getting my hairs over here. I've got, oh my god, this is embarrassing. Three, Trace, uh, the Precisely My Brow Pencils. If you watch my videos or know me, you know I love these. These are my favorite eyebrow pencils. I used the Anastasia ones for a while, I switched to these. The packaging is cute. I feel like my eyebrows always come out good. I love the color. And yeah, I mean, there's not much to say about these. I go through them like water, basically. So highly recommend if you're looking for a good eyebrow pencil, especially for the holidays. Benefit has awesome um, holiday kits. Um, yeah, so check those out. These are the brow pencils. Let me just show you in case like this is really your first time seeing it. One side is the skinny brow pencil side. And then the other side is a spoolie. Pretty standard for these, but um, just in case you didn't know that. And then my next product is the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara. I love this mascara. I honestly love this one just as much as the Maybelline Stiletto one that I've been talking about. I have to like try them more at the same time to see which one is my absolute favorite. But this is my, this was my favorite drugstore one for a while. I think I just like these skinnier brushes. I don't know what it is, but this is the brush to this one. I like it a lot. I recommend it. Um, I definitely would buy this again. I just don't have a backup as of right now. But like if someone was to ask me, hey, what are some of your favorite drugstore mascaras? This would be on the list. On the topic of L'Oreal, my favorite drugstore foundation, you guys know, L'Oreal Infallible Freshwear. This one is in the color 425. I'm pretty sure this is my tan shade. I bought a new one. I will continue to buy this until someone tells me I can't. So never. We also got a very well-known morphe continuous setting mist love this stuff since the day i tried it i've got a new one sitting right there highly recommend you can get it at ulta you can get it online morphe's website i think it'd be a great gift as well 
it's perfect for all skin types unless you like really matte skin then i would maybe oh wait they have a matte version of this i haven't tried they have a matte and a luminous one and then i guess this one's like average now i don't know um but yeah i love this one and then you could try those other variations if you want to look into that on morphe's website next up well last two products i've got some hair products um i went through a hairspray i stole this from my mom so it was about halfway full when i took it <clears throat> this is the kenra perfect medium spray medium hold hairspray number 13 uh, don't have the cap didn't have it when I took it <laughs> so this is the one that I use um, I use this like when I wave my hair or I curl my hair I don't really use hairspray when I'm flat ironing my hair or like right now this is just natural grease in my hair slicking it back that's what that is so yeah this was good I mean I I'll be honest I don't have a lot of experience with hairspray because I didn't really start doing my hair until the past like two years I would kind of just use what my mom had but this one was good like it held my curls it would hold my wave it wasn't too crunchy the smell was good the spray was good it lasted a while don't know the price because like i said i didn't buy it but i will put it on the screen i liked it now i'm using the uh, head candy um hairspray and we will see how i feel about that in the future and on the topic of head candy our last and final empty product is the head candy style me wannabe dry shampoo this was my favorite dry shampoo for a minute i definitely went through more than these my whole house uses these okay so what happened was my mom, my mom is like the OG beauty person of the family. Obviously, she's a sell Mary Kay back in the day. Um, she's always had like, my mom like gets ready every day no matter what she's doing. So she always has her hair done. She always has her makeup done, a cute outfit on, jewelry, all of it. So um, she started ordering this brand. We kept getting boxes at the door. I'm like, mom, we're getting more head candy stuff. She owns every product that they, that they make. I'm pretty sure every tool. We have the curling iron. We have several of the hair dryers and hair dryers in my house we have the flat iron when i wear my hair wavy it is their tool and i love all of it like I, and we've tried a lot of hair stuff um in my house i love this brand we use their shampoo and conditioner in the shower and then she put me onto this because she knows i have really um oily hair so i was using this for a while and i really did like it but i never had a dry shampoo that actually like kept my hair from looking oily the whole day until until recently i went to salon centric you know with my little cosmetology shit i can go there now and i discovered this it's kind of off topic but since we're talking about dry shampoo i have to be honest i would rebuy this one well, no actually i wouldn't buy it with my own money <laughs> if my mom had it and i needed it i would use it but if it was up to me i'll use this one one second this right here this is gold okay i'm not kidding this is the igk first class charcoal detox dry shampoo Deep cleanse level detoxifying oil erasing scalp soothing and they weren't kidding I know a lot of brands put that fluff on their bottles you know and you get your hopes up and you're like eh, kind of no this one they're not playing around it's true I got the mini one because um, I see multiple youtubers like you know putting it in their favorites videos and I've tried like every dry shampoo I've tried Aussie I've tried those I've tried Batiste I've tried um, some random one I got from CVS and kept in my purse so I've tried like four or five by now and this is the only one that actually makes my hair look cleaner. It does have a little bit of a cast at first, but I just like, you know, fluff it through. And it is amazing. It's amazing. I love this stuff. You need this if you have oily hair. Like, don't even bother trying any other dry shampoos if you don't try this one. Get the mini first. Let me know how you feel. Let me know if I overhyped it or not. I don't know, but this shit is magic for my hair, okay? But this is still good. This is like a 7 or 8 out of 10. This is like an 11 out of 10, in my opinion. So whatever you want to do. So yeah, that is all of my garbage. I've gone through all of it. This is what I saved. This is what I remembered to save out of all the things that I've gone through over the past probably like six months to a year. Um, I've probably definitely used more. And I want to keep doing this so long as you guys enjoyed watching these types of videos. I think it's important like on YouTube and Instagram, everyone's always talking about, I got this, I got this, I got that, and I got that. Well, it's like, did you use it all? Or did it irritate you? Did you love it? Did it go bad quick? Did it dry up quick? Like, those are the type of things that I want to know as a consumer. So I would love to give that in return. And I want to keep doing this with other products, more of a variety, not so much Kylie Skin. 
And uh, yeah, I think it could be like helpful and I just like to watch all that kind of stuff personally. So be honest with me. Tell me how you feel about this in the comments. Again, don't forget to like and click subscribe. So uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will definitely be posting some holiday makeup looks. I want to do a holiday gift guide. I have a lot of um, exciting ideas for December. So yeah, have a great day and um, hope you enjoyed looking at my garbage. Deuces. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Just kidding. I love everybody. We've also got a L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon- <laughs> Uno Momento?